Okay, rock stars, it is T-Bone Pearson here with something that I think you're going to like. Um, so in with some of my latest projects, um, in green screen, I add a shake in After Effects after the fact to make it look like you're shooting it with a handheld camera. Um, so on these shorts I've done like the corner or with the, the Super Kids video I've, I've done, I've added that in After Effects and it's very time consuming. Um, and I'm trying to mimic, you know, the handheld effect. Now, is there an easier way? Yes, there is. A guy on the movie Deadpool, I think you've heard of it before, um, he was doing the same thing I was doing in After Effects, and it was taking him a long time. And he wanted to be, to be able to do it inside of his editing software, which was Premiere Pro. And thank goodness he shared the presets. So he, uh, I think, shot some footage um, and made a, a preset. And preset is just something that you can use to easily uh, do what he did on Deadpool. So you can go up here to pre premierepro.net slash Deadpool blah 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 blah. Just throw it into Google. Uh, I'll put a link underneath this video on YouTube. Come here and download this, this preset file for Premiere Pro. So let's click this. Now I've already downloaded this already. Uh, it's waiting. There it is. So you're going to go there. Show in Finder. Again, I'm on a Mac. Uh, you know how to do this on a PC, I'm sure. Go to Open. And there's a little folder here with uh, Jarl's Deadpool presets. So now that I know where that is, I'm going to open up good old Premiere Pro. And we're going to install it into our version to, uh, to be able to use whenever we want. Now, the thing with green screens is usually you shoot them on a tripod. Because if you start moving the camera around... You run into trouble real quick um, unless you put X's on the green screen, which I do on the show Spell Fury, but you're just getting yourself into a lot of work, and uh, I just recommend doing this. So we're going to go File. Let's import some footage. Import. What do we got here? Let's import this. Now, I believe this is handheld footage. Let's just grab this, throw it onto the timeline right here. And this is handheld footage. So it already has the handheld footage look to it because it's already handheld. So let's just freeze this. Right click, right click, thank you. And let's go to ooh, frame hold options. Let's just freeze this. And let's say you've just shot there. You shot some footage on a tripod. Now let's go over here to effects. And we have to import the preset so we can use it. Preset, just right click this. Go to Import Presets, where we're going to get all of Gerald's work here. And then I'm going to find my uh, my downloads folder, and you can import it. Uh, at which point, it's going to show up in here. Uh, now, I probably should undo that because I don't want, I've already installed this, so let's go Edit Undo. Uh, but it'll show up in here. Presets. Do, do, do. Hello. Okay, and Jarl. I'm probably totally pronouncing that wrong, by the way. Uh, for any footage and handheld long lens. Let's just grab that, click and hold, and drop. And now watch this. It's adding a handheld effect to it. Now, if that's too crazy for you, for your project, you want to do maybe, this one says somewhat steady there. So that, that one won't be as bad. Let's try it out. Let's go undo, grab the steady one. And this is more conservative. And it's going to give your your projects some life. There, that one's a little bit better. I'd probably use that one a bit more. So do your projects in green screen, and then slap that on all your clips after the fact. And it's going to look super cool. Anyways, guys, yeah, I wanted to pass that on. It's cool that the Deadpool guy passed, gave us these presets. Thank you, Jarl. Hopefully that's your name, how to, how to pronounce it. And uh, I will talk to you guys soon, but please like, subscribe, and comment on my video so I know you're watching it. And I will see you guys later, or talk to you guys later, or have you watch my videos later, or something later. Bye-bye!